What's up guys? I am back to bring you another untucked edition of RuPaul's Drag Race. This is my recap. Um, this is season nine, episode 10, and it is titled Makeover's Crew Better Work. As I stated in the recap with my husband, Corey, this was like one of my most favorite episodes thus far of this season. Um, okay, now backstage during Untucked, the thing that stuck out to me the most was seeing Nina Bonina just not interact and communicate with the ladies while they were commending each other and congratulating each other. It was just so sad to see her lay there. And you could actually see and tell that she had completely checked out of the competition. And I know I've always been pretty hard on Nina. I've always actually said that she was a talented female. You know, she was a talented girl. Um, she brings a lot to RuPaul's Drag Race, but the negativity thing always um, turned me off. But after watching this particular episode of Untucked, I do now have some newfound sympathy and empathy for her, especially in reference to her mentioning um, during the show about her depression, because I also deal with depression and anxiety dis disorder and panic attacks and all of that. So I definitely know what she is going through and how she feels. But I think where I don't connect with Nina is the fact that I do sit in a low place when I'm dealing with depression for quite a while. But at some point, I find it within myself to pull it together and snap out of it. Also, um, what helps me come out of that negative space is when you have people who are surrounding you who are bringing positive energy and showing love. So I think that was my disconnect with Nina because the ladies were always showing her love and trying to build her up. So at that point, it really isn't anyone else but you. And Nina did actually say that in this particular episode that, you know, it's herself. She has to begin believing in herself and loving herself and knowing who she really is. But outside of the Nina Bonina situation with her depression and her being um, distant from the ladies during Untucked, I will say it was beautiful to see Alexis Michelle um, show love to Trinity and to um, Sasha Velour about them having the most positive critiques during this elimination round. I was also so excited to see that Sasha Velour confirmed my theory about the difficulties of having to help a man get up in drag who may have traditionally masculine features. And that's what I said. I said, some people who you think are attractive men, you're like, oh, they're gonna make a great drag queen or a great girl. But when those masculine strong features come into play, it really doesn't work. So we've seen that the most beautiful drag queens end up being the men who have softer features. And I made that point. So I was like, yes, go me for Sasha confirming my point. Now back to Nina's ass. Um, it was great to finally see that Nina let go of the Shea Coule conspiracy theory and finally congratulated her um, and let her know that she is a phenomenal queen. And she did say that um, she felt that she would be in the bottom as well as Shea Coule, but, she, but it was great to see Nina say and tell Shea Coule that you know you are a fabulous queen. I think you're going to win this. You're going to go far. You've done well. So don't even worry about it, child. Just lay this lip sync battle. But I was surprised and not so surprised to hear Nina say that she was just going to try to give up and not even lip sync because this is her third time in the bottom. And so it was not really worth it. And she's just drained and worn out. And I kind of get how she feels. If I was in the bottom three damn times and had to lip sync for my life three damn times, I might want to give up too. But it was great to see that Trinity jumped in there and said, honey, you have become a role model. You are a big sister to some of these people and children out there who now look up to you. And you have to man up and or woman up and go out there and fight. And I loved when Shea Coule jumped in and said, honey, I don't want to win this by default. I want to have to go out and lip sync and know that I won because I slid. And that's what I was saying in a previous video about how Nina beat Valentina. I don't think that she slayed her. I feel like she won by default because Valentina didn't know the words and she didn't really do shit. Also, I loved seeing that Wintergreen showed some love to Peppermint and thanked her 
for the experience and helping her get up in drag because as you guys know, I was side eyeing the judges for giving all the praise to Wintergreen as if Peppermint didn't have to beat Wintergreen's face and teach her and encourage her and you know, give her all the ins and outs with drag. So I was so glad to see Wintergreen speak up on um, Peppermint's behalf. Just as all the other crew members spoke up for their sisters, that was just great. And like I said before, this is why I love this particular episode because to see these men, whether they are heterosexual or homosexual, you know, jump right in there and be um, committed and connected to their partners during this challenge was awesome. Now, I wanna say that I lived for the shade that Duncan threw at Trinity. It was funny because when Trinity was saying drag queens don't make that much money and sometimes you have to worry about if you're gonna pay your rent or buy a gown and when Duncan said, or purchase that left butt cheek, honey, I gagged. I said, yes, Duncan, you are slaying. This is your first time in drag, but I'm not so sure because you got this shade thing down packed. But we also found out in Untuck that a lot of the guys, especially Duncan has been there the longest. And I think um, Aaron was the second longest and Winter Green had been there the third longest. Now I told y'all that Trinity's ass wanted to see Rizzo's dick because in Untuck, of course, she admitted that she was attracted to Rizzo. He, Rizzo is her favorite cameraman and I don't blame her because I'm attracted to Rizzo as well. And I would have been back there trying to help him tuck and or untuck. And Rizzo also shared that, you know, he had to let that dick breathe because the tuck is no more at this point. Now my heart melted when Bay, which I don't remember what his actual name or real name is, but when Bay and Aaron were crying when they found out and saw that Shay and Nina were in the bottom, I loved how Bay was just like, I feel like it may be because of me, because she doesn't deserve this. She deserves to not even be in this position. And you know, she was never in the bottom until, you know, this moment. So that just made me cry. It made a tear fall down my eye to see how invested that the crew is with their sisters. And I don't care what y'all say about Shea Coulee and if she slayed that lip sync battle or not, because after watching it again in Untucked, that bitch slayed. She slayed, I'm sorry, she slayed. I was glad that Nina chose to give some type of a fight versus taking the Charlie Hyde's route and just giving up, but I'm sorry. Those pivots, those turns, the everything that she gave. My thing is when a, when a queen starts that lip sync battle and they have that initial pose and posture proper and correct and those breasts are poked out, I live, I live. So I was so glad that Shea Coulee shantayed and stayed, my God. Last thing I want to mention is back to Nina. It was so sad that while Nina was packing up her things and getting ready to go, while she had so many um, encouraging and positive things to share with the viewers and how she um, was glad for the experience and she knew that Rue was definitely rooting for her, I was sad that she still reverted back to the negativity because once she noticed that all of the ladies had written her love notes or notes of encouragement, she still said, oh, you guys really love me and then gave a side eye and a hunch. And I'm like, you're still acting like these people don't care about you and they've proven and have shown that they really do. And it brings me back to Peppermint saying like, do we really have to do this every single time this is our this is possibly our last time with Nina and we're still having to try to give her reassurance but that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for tuning in to my recap on the untucked edition of RuPaul's Drag Race make sure you guys comment in the comment section thumbs up my video um, subscribe to the channel follow me on all social media outlets and Thank you guys for watching. I think that's about it. Um, yeah, it's just said I already gave you guys um, how I felt about Nina and her depression. I understand it, but it's just so sad that she just can't pull herself up, my God, out of the muck and the miry clay. But thank you for watching. Bye.